chapter Al-Hajar freezing assets due to bankruptcy etc. Al-Hajar blocking one from having control over either both his wealth and debt or his wealth alone. Based on the benefits sought through it, Al-Hajar is divided into two types. One, for the benefit of the one whose assets are being frozen. This is in the case of the minor, the incompetent, the mentally challenged. Two, for the benefit of the second person. This is in the case of someone who is bankrupt. The one with the right, i.e. the lender, should be patient with the debtor who is bankrupt, and he should make it easy for the one who is well off. On the other hand, the one who owes the right to the debtor should fulfill it completely, both in quantity and quality. The Prophet wasallam said in the meaning of which, Procrastination and repaying the debt by a wealthy person is a form of oppression, and if he transfers his debt to someone who is able to pay, then he is a lender should agree. Agreed upon. This is a form of lenience. The well-off person is the one who is able to repay, does not procrastinate, and can be brought to the place of judgment. If a person's debt exceeds his wealth, and all or some of the lender's requests a judge to freeze his assets and prevent him from controlling any of his wealth, i.e. the judge, can liquidate his assets and divide the proceeds among the lender in proportion to the amount they are owed.